Hi there guys, Louis Carlo here. Um, I just want to first of all say I'm um, sorry it's taken so long to stick another one of uh, these reviews up. I haven't been well the last couple of weeks or so and uh, so I don't want to bore you with the details. Um, let's just get down to another review. Flight! Let's first start off by saying that it's Good to see Robert Zemeckis going back to his sort of early roots and working with, you know, proper actors, because uh, you know in the past he's been kind of stuck on board with the kind of motion capture stuff, which I personally didn't feel was his best stuff. You know, I'm a big admirer of Forrest Gump. It's been a, it's a much more subversive film than anyone gives it credit for, and and you know it, it's good to see him getting back into the saddle with with real actors and directing like R-rated, well, yeah, I suppose R-rated films again. So the story here is is that uh, uh, Denzel Washington is a pilot who's just awoken from a night of what appears to have been, you know, solid boozing, snorting, and a bit of inhaling, as it were, and a little bit of gratuitous nudity at the start, which was a little bit suspect, but you know, it was an indicator of Robert Zemeckis saying, "I'm going back into R-rated territory," and uh, yeah, here's some of it. And so Denzel suits up, makes his way to the airport, and will get behind the controls of a plane. And if you've seen the trailer for this, then ultimately it will result in a crash in which many of the in which the majority of the passengers will survive, thanks to the heroic efforts and deeds of Mr. Washington, having been under the influence. And it will escalate into the big question of whether or not it was right of him to have done this, or whether or not he knew he could do this, even being under the the influence, or having nerves of steel. So things that are good about the film. Firstly, Denzel's performance. I mean, the events leading up to the crash are actually very, very well done, and it does really does give you a sense of the character of Denzel, someone who believes that, you know, despite whatever is thrown at them, you know, the nerves of steel are there. And on the other hand, he is someone who is good at playing a rather dishevelled and actually, you know, rather kind of blamesome sort of alcoholic Don Cheadle and Bruce Greenaway who are kind of pulling the reins and the sort of the weight of the film, the kind of reasonable sort of like the company of holding everything together in place, kind of balancing it all out in a way that I think is, yeah, it's, it's perfectly fine. And as I say, the, the actual action of leading up to the crash Denzel's character being able to pull off this rather brave sort of manoeuvre of, uh, I believe most people refer to it as a kind of a nosedive um, with the aircraft, so it is very, very well done. Until a point upon the landing procedure where one of the wings clips the top of a church chapel, in kind of a narrative plot point, and that's where the kind of the downsides and the problems with the film begin. The build up to kind of the first act just having been so great and then just falling for the last two acts into kind of, you know, formulaic and rather actually kind of laboured territory. It's not just Denzel who is having trouble with his addiction. You also have Kelly Riley as this kind of unbelievably sort of glamorous looking kind of heroin addict who's trying to conquer her addiction and her character is is never really kind of fully explained. And then you have the character of John Goodman, who's the kind of the the big loud mouthed chauvinistic supplier, as it were, who just appears to have walked straight off the set of a Coen Brothers comedy. I mean, that kind of aspect of this is serious subject matter that we're dealing with here. As soon as John Goodman comes on, you know, part of the seriousness of the film just kind of goes out the window. It's a bit of an uneasy mix, the soundtrack. There will be occasions where, well, here's a typical example. Picture Denzel slouching about on the couch, a beer in hand, gets up as Kelly Riley's character comes in the room, hurls some you know, verbal abuse and all that. Oh, I can't take any more of this. Uh, yeah. Cut to a montage of Denzel Washington by the fire, staring deeply. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone away. <laughs> yes, that was a party political broadcast on behalf of the Ministry of the Bleeding Obvious. I mean, doesn't feel like they are taking it as seriously as they need to. It's, it's a film about redemption, ultimately, and you can kind of see the end result coming even with all you know its flaws and all that it's held together by the strength of Denzel Washington it is it is ultimately it is a study kind of about 
the human condition, although it doesn't take its subject matter as seriously as it needs to. I, I did like this film, although not as much as I was hoping I would. Excelsior Productions. <laughs>